Hello beautiful ones and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. We are the very last day of June and I have a really special reading. It's something uh, different but it, it's not that different. It's just it's spirit kind of giving us an insider's look or a, an insider view of how your requests get processed. So I am with you completely learning something new which is awesome. I'm <laughs> I'm really happy about it. I asked them for something special for the last day of the month of June to give us some insight. So it's not just advice for you, it'll also help you uh, put in your requests, let's just say, about the things that you want. Maybe to better hone in on how you do those things so that they can better help you out you can manifest things quicker. Isn't that something we would all love to be able to do? So let's get on with it. I pulled a few cards and this is how I found out. <clears throat> this is a Hester Hicks deck and it says the law of attraction assembles all cooperative relationships. So in essence it says there's this vor vortex of becoming. It's like a, it's like an, a, an ingredient okay, of the mix and a vortex that contain all the requests, all the amended requests, each and every detail of each and every asking that has emanated from you, right? So everything that you've been like putting in there over the years, it's it holds all of that. And it says the law of attraction is responding to that. The vortex is literally drawing in all things necessary for the completion of every request it contains. All cooperative components are being summoned and are coming for the completion of these creation, creations, for answering all of these questions and for solutions to these problems. So you see it, it's all, all the stuff, it, it looks like her hair, but it actually is like spirit coming in and they're going, they're listening intently. Oh, you want this? Okay, we'll put this. And this is three. I love this because you, as everybody knows, three, six, nine is the beginning of something. Six is putting in the work. Okay, and then these three cards came out. So they're working at making all the best choices to bring you the the sense of harmony and of balance, okay? And of course, they're adapting as they go with the two of wands. They're juggling and, and preparing and, and planning and adapting everything. And there's a long list of things uh, on us. Uh, a looking past. I actually feel the two of pentacles as well. It didn't come out, but it's actually here. And you have the king of pentacles. So to give you the optimum growth, the best prosperity that you may be requesting or wanting. So this is really cool in the fact that they are just coming in to give us all of this information. So yeah, let's see how that works. What else they can give us that's like the ace in the hole, the uh, the help to get us the best results possible. Let's work on that. Thank you for do that, okay? Thank you for being here. My name is Jane and I do readings for the Pisces Collective. It's all kind of advice from Spirit to help you on your way. Um, I don't really do, I do general readings, but they're general that anybody can listen to this and get something out of it, okay? <laughs> Spirit of Place keeps coming in, okay? So, it's meaningful for some reason. Um, I, I do feel it's in the right now, okay? Being authentic. Okay, so yes, this is being authentic. Know what you want and ask for what you, what you want. If you're asking for things you think you might want, that makes sense. You're not, you're not really asking for the right thing, okay? If it's a preconceived notion of something or what you think you might want or what you think other people want for you, it's, it's all in the same vein. You have to really find out who you are and what you want. Be completely honest with yourself, Spirit is saying. The more honest that you are with yourself, the better it will be. Okay? So that is absolutely Spirit of Place. Be in your own spot. Don't give your spot up to anybody else. Uh, don't be right within yourself. 
okay, within your own energy, knowing what you want, what you want to bring forward. So, so important. And then you have two, which is gentle gardener. <clears throat> yeah, and again, it's be your own person and be a, co a conscious co-creator. So both these cards came out together, which makes complete sense. They're talking about being authentic and true to yourself. These are, this, it, this couldn't be clearer. It, it couldn't be clearer, but that's not, having said that, it's not always easy to do. Again, listening to your inner radar, to your inner light, is always such a great way of figuring out whether or not you're going on the right path. If you're doing it for somebody else, and somebody else is getting joy out of it, but you are not, then you're not leading your own path. If you're doing something and it feels off, you're not following your own path. If you're, yeah, it's, it's, use your body. Yesterday we were talking about using your body as a divination tool, as, as the pod that lets you know, as the compass that lets you know whether you're going the right way or the wrong way. So you have to, to figure that part out first. You really have to go within yourself to figure out. I'm going to pull a bit of tarot for these two cards right here. Oh. Yeah, I like gentle gardener, and I think of gentle gardener as well as being gentle with yourself, okay, Pisces? Um, a lot of people, you may think that it, you're oversimplifying, you know, going, know yourself, know yourself. Oh, it should be easy to do. It's not that easy. If you look around yourself, you see a whole bunch of people walking around the planet not knowing who they are or what they want. So it's, it's a big undertaking, okay? It may be simplified in words, but it doesn't matter, okay? Well, look at that. Six of Wands. So you have the Victory card uh, validating these. When you're able to do this, when you're able to bring this forward, it will bring some validation your way by knowing that you're on the right path. And not only that, you're going to see proof of it. You're going to feel victorious. You're going to feel better. Things are going to start moving faster. Things are going to start happening more. So this is what Spirit says. When you move within the realm of being authentic and true, true to yourself, okay? Because sometimes we don't like to admit what we really want. Because, it, you know, if, if I turned around and said to people, all I want is money, they'd say, well, that's just greedy and wrong. No, but what if it's that's what I really wanted? That if I, if I mask it with something else, then I'm not really saying what I want. You know, literally money, like coins, you know, because I collect them and that's what I want. Yes, to other people it may seem frivolous and nothing, but maybe that is something that I like to do, okay? I don't collect coins and I don't know I'm using this as an example, but it's funny. I just thought it was funny. Um, <clears throat> just be true to yourself. Be true to your nature. Whatever it is you want, whether it, whether it sounds ridiculous or not, whether it sounds greedy or not, uh, find out, you know, where it comes from, what you really want, and then go for it. Okay, the truer you are to what you're meaning or what you really want, the better it will be for you at manifesting it. Because if you're manifesting what you think people or what you think you might want, or or you know you're you're constantly doing stuff because it appears better, well that's not authentic, and it's just clogging up the wheels of trying to get what you want. Be honest with yourself, okay. Right. Launching. The Three of Wands. Again, we got a lot of wands coming out, a lot of fire energy. The reason I feel that we have a lot of fire energy coming out recently, and it's it's showing up to me like a fire energy more than anything, is because I think that it really helps propel what we want. It gets us unstuck. And that's the good part about that fire energy. It puts a fire under our butt, okay? So, launching is another card of validation. To make your stuff come true, to have your requests being fulfilled, well, you need to start. You need to work at it. You need to put it in motion. Okay, you need to start spinning the wheel in that direction. You can't just sit around and go, well, I wish for a million dollars. You gotta start 
trying to work on how that's going to come true okay it may still not come true the way that you're you start working at it it may come in in a very unexpected way but you still have to to put in the effort right there's an effort in in yourself like a a, a calling that you have to follow to start making things shift okay so you have to launch you have to be setting up those you have to plan it first of all like they said Take the lead and then put it in motion. Okay? Then you're going to start seeing things happen. Things are going to start moving forward for you. Okay, so I want to pull another card here from an oracle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where am I going here? Where am I going here? Let's do this one here. Okay, so let's do a surrender too. What do we need to surrender to? Aha! Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. There you go. Now there's a there's a hat trick. <laughs> there you go. I like that one. Okay, I'm actually going to read from the book. I usually don't. Or this is there is no book for this one. This is the other deck. Huh. Okay. So I guess I'm going to be pulling from that deck too. Okay. So this is looking through a mirror and surrendering to everything that you want. Don't be limited by what you can see. Make sure that you use all parts of your creativity, including your imagination. Okay? Because that also opens up how you can solve, become a problem solver. This is how you can amend and fix things. This is how you go from being, oh, well, that'll never happen to, well, maybe. Okay? You're opening up the door to everything. You're not discounting anything. And this is what Spirit is saying. You're not discounting anything. You're opening up to everything. Making everything a possibility. And that's really, really good when you think about it, right? Right. There's too many. Let's just do a cut here. Ha, believe. Okay, that's good. There's magic all around you. Open up to the wonders of the universe. Notice the connections and synchronicities. Follow your feelings and believe with all your heart. We successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are in alignment with our plans. Well, I like this. Okay, we got synchronicity right there. Planning, two of wands. Okay, for that sacred union, the right ideas take shape, the best relationships blossom, and the stuff that's meant to easily fall into place, everything is possible. I find that things that easily fall into place is a clear indication, at least that has happened to me. Look at this one, risk it. It, it didn't come out, but I, yeah, I like that, okay? So, believe. Believe in unicorns. Believe in everything. It is talking about imagination. These two cards are coming out together. They're, they're definitely linked to one another. And I love that. Okay? The connections and synchronicities also speak to me. So, look for things that are synchronistic. Like, if it starts matching up and you're getting all kinds of signs, as they said, they're working. Okay? They know the stuff you put in before, Pisces. They remember. It may have been 30 years for you. For myself, it could be 40, 50 years ago that I put a little nugget of something. And they're just throwing it back out at me going, remember this? Remember when you wanted that? Remember maybe that will help with this? So that what you're trying to make? They're working. This is like a team of experts 
who know you better than you know yourself. And they're there to help you. All you have to do is put in the right ingredients, the right mix, a very big dash of authenticity, being true to yourself, and then following through what you want. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like this. Wee. Okay. You have the King of Swords. The King of Swords, mastermind. Use your mind as the best tool that you can. Uh, that makes sense to me because uh, a sharp mind and is a, is a fantastic tool. It brings back memories. It, it aligns things. It helps you figure it out. You have the Wheel of Destiny. You have to remember, too, that exactly the vortex these these people the this spirits whatever you want to call them i don't know i never know what to call them the energies are conspiring to make things happen they want to spin that wheel of destiny into your favor all the time they're constantly trying always despite our <laughs> despite their best efforts at us sometimes trying to kibosh their plans we they can do it. They try constantly because they want you to celebrate. They want you to reconnect with who you are, the Three of Cups, okay? They want you to reconnect and celebrate and really, really have the joy of the moment to do it, okay? This is such a great thing. These are great things. It's, it's stuff we already know. This much I know, I feel that we, we already have heard this. But it's, it's one of those lessons from spirit that never really gets old. And we forget, right? We start asking for stuff, but we forget how to ask. And this is why they're doing it this way. They want you to remember and to really hone in on the skill on how to ask for your heart's wishes. And that's, that's a big one here. Your heart's wishes. Okay? You have to do it. You have to be authentic to yourself. This is a big one. This is a big one. I'm going to read these because I just read the, the, the things that they're going, go in, go in, okay? So, spirit of place is authentic. Authenticity is the essence of power. So, this is where you hold your power, okay? Um... We have a soul, so there's the plants, the trees, the birds, the river. Everybody has their own essence, okay? It says that the answer is to overarching team of your circumstances. Is your question about a struggle instead of just don't, yeah, don't look, don't send something out as a question, sending it out as a fact, send it out as something that you really want, Okay, if you're questioning it, you may not want it. That might not be your authentic, true need, want, whatever you want. Okay, uh, <clears throat> okay, so then it says reverse don't get entangled in details or desires that have screwed the truth of your situation. Exactly, make sure that you know what you want. Stand back and ask, ask yourself, what is the real nature of of what I'm wanting or what I'm inquiring, okay? Even exquisitely seductive hidden agendas cannot conceal this. Trust your intuition, okay? The spirit of place is whispering in your ear. You hold the power to tell the truth first to yourself, then to the world. You can always distinguish between an essence that is true and one that is synthetic. There you go, be authentic. Be honest with yourself and remain willing to let your situation be revealed for what it really is and what you want it to be. Okay, that's they're trying to tell you distinguish between your wants and what your true self is. That's very important. That's a good. That's a very good, 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 good thing to pass on. Um, an apple can't become an orange, just as a dog can never be a bird. Well, maybe not in this lifetime. <laughs> Uh, are you trying to change something to suit the agenda instead of suiting um, your true authentic self, right? Only when you see things as they are 
will you find the real treasure. I really like that. This I read the reverse because that's what they told me to. And I really like what this one said, okay? The Gentle Gardener. Let's see this one too. Okay, so the Gentle Gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. Right. Okay. Uh, she is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation. And they said that right here. Co-creation that's so synchronistic. And ensures that all you are is reflected in a world of form. Right? So... Are you aware of your thoughts? What are their qualities? So now they're talking about the quality of your thoughts. What are you sending out there? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener, and this is talking about here, believe and this as well. So it's all in your belief of, of what you can create and what can happen to you. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I do see, I see the child. I see the, the beauty of a child when they're limitless, when you don't think there are limits, okay? So I love that. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. So they're saying that whatever you put out there, you can receive. You just have to believe. Okay? Believe, 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 Pisces. Okay, so this has been this reading. I do too, so I'm going to do the extended on this one uh, later on this evening. I hope that you tune in. I would. Uh, to get more information. Uh, this is when the second one, the extended, they really come in and do the, you know, they give you the the cheat sheets. I like that. You know, the secret codes for the games, uh, to how to get around and into and more insight. I really like the extended, so I do them. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's right over there underneath there somewhere. And uh, click that notification bell to all so that you're notified when I post. Make sure to put a like on this video. You help uh, keep those troll uh, putting the thumbs down to a minimum. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, take care of yourself, Pisces. I will see you in the next video. Lots of love, light, and blessings to you always. Take care.